lots of games coming up this week. How do you manage yourself heading in towards that? Heading into these games here, we got a stretch of two games yeah, on Thursday and on Saturday. It's just taking care of your body, doing what you need to do, cold tubs, a lot of stretching with Sean and just managing yourself. Heading into the game in Rochester, the main focus was limiting the amount of goals that you guys were going to concede. There was one in the dying minutes there. Do you guys feel that you were impressed with your defensive performance overall? Uh, looking back, I think it was good. All of uh, the week leading up to that game was defensive shape and, and keeping a tight block and keeping things in front of us. And I think looking back, we did well. Obviously, we didn't get the result we wanted. Coming away with the draw would have been nice. But, I mean, you got to build from that. And I think we did well. And coming into the next game, we look to continue to be strong defensively. When it comes to conceding goals, is it all a matter of communication and players knowing their roles so that there isn't any mix-ups? Um, it is about knowing your roles, also knowing other people's roles as well. So you can talk and communicate on the field, and that's very important. That's something that JB stresses every day in practice. Is the cold tub worth the pain? Absolutely. So, some people don't like the cold tub. They think it's uh, a load of crap, but I, I'm a guy who likes the cold tub. I'm in there as much as I can be. How is it the, the long streak you've had away from home uh, been? Uh, obviously, you've got a lot of miles under your belt, but you must feel this team's pretty tight now. You spent a lot of time together. Yeah, we definitely have a good relationship. You can see it when we go out to team dinners and all that. Everyone has a good bond, and that, that's good because a lot of times I can carry on to the field. And um, Yeah, a lot, of a lot of games on the road. We are definitely looking forward to having that home stretch, but I think in the long run, this is going to make us a better team and a stronger team, able to deal with a lot of diversity. How do you feel playing all these games? You've been like one of the few defenders starting, starting all the games so far. Do you think it's really helping you grow as a player? Do you think you're learning a lot from you didn't learn when you were playing in college? I have learned a lot. It's my first year, obviously. I'm a rookie, and just getting game, game time, playing 90 minutes, does a lot for a young player. And yeah, I've enjoyed it and growing, growing and learning each game and each training session. So I'm excited what the future holds. Is it, is it funny saying that you're a rookie given that so many of the other players on this team are the exact same age as you? Yeah, it is kind of funny. You look around, a lot of the guys are about the same age, a lot of rookies on the team. We're all going through the process together. So it's, it's fun. It's fun. How do you guys go with everyone? I, all the games, the commentators call you guys the baby reds. They don't call you like, I yeah. refer to you guys as the young reds. No one, everyone calls you the babies. Do you think it's like, do you guys hear that and you want to play even harder and want to prove them that you can, you're not just 22 year olds, you're actually like, you guys have a lot of experience and you guys can win games? Yeah, I guess that's a team nickname. They deemed us as the, the young or baby reds. And, you know, in all of truth, we do have a lot of young players. But at the same time, I think, you know, part of us don't want to be called the Baby Reds. You don't want to be called TFC2, which we are. You know, we're men, and we go out there and we want to win games. So that's just my opinion, opinion on that, yeah. Jason Bent will be inducted to the Brampton Sports Hall of Fame tonight. As someone you've just recently gotten to know as a coach, how would you describe him? Jason Bent is he's a great coach. He comes out to training with passion. He loves his job. He's played at the highest level. And you can see he gets respect amongst the players immediately. And to me, for him getting inducted into this is, is no surprise at all.